As well as importing and fitting vectors to simple shapes, Archem Insignia is also capable of handling large TIFFs, bitmaps, GIFs and JPEGs as well. If we start ArcTrace again and load a file, this is from a clipart collection, I'm able to set up the size, we can see in this case we have well over 2,000 pixels along the long side of this design. I have a number of greys and blacks and things again, so the first thing I'm going to do is reduce it to two colours. Then I'm going to select the black and we're going to fit a vector to that. And you'll see that Arkham Insignia does this extremely quickly based on how much data we've actually got here. We can then take that vector and bring it back into Arkham Insignia itself, the main program. Just centre that up. The next thing I want to do is check this data. Very often it's easy to create problems with data as complex as this where you won't be able to machine it, maybe where there's a small loop or a coincident point. So we're going to use something called the Vector Doctor that I can actually get to look at the data we've got here and find out if I have coincident points or if I have loops. It's powerful enough to actually fix the loops, but if the problems I've got are coincident points, then I do need to go in there and fix them myself. But at least it makes it very easy for me to find them and then take care of them. You can see that what it does is highlight the problem areas with these red circles that we've got here and here. So now I'm able to zoom in there, select this, and then just tidy up the data to make sure it looks OK. Do the same with the one down here, where you can come in, just delete the excess points that we've got in there. If I want to check these again, I can just select on that area there, just ask it to re-identify to make sure those points are clear and you can see they've both gone now. So I know this data is clean. Now just to prove that, let's take this file and put a v-carving toolpath on it as if we were going to engrave it. Pick a carving tool here and we'll just calculate this now. And you'll see because the data is clean, Arkham Insignia is able to very quickly generate the path on this project in order to actually create the toolpath for us. So in just a few minutes we were able to go from a file that was a bitmap, load it, clean it up, fit vectors and then actually machine it and you can see the simulation here to show how that would look when we cut it.